We all know that 2020 will be remembered as the year of the coronavirus. A once in a century pandemic that devastated families, crushed our economy and caused record unemployment. However, despite a very weak economy, the housing market continued to thrive and Latinos increased their home ownership rate in 2020 for the sixth consecutive year. The only racial demographic to have six straight years of growth. Experts predict that this trend will continue because Latinos are passionate about home ownership and are the youngest demographic in the country. In fact, with an average age of 29 years, a majority of Latino adults are just starting to enter their prime home buying years. For these reasons, the Urban Institute, a Washington DC think tank, predicts that over the next 20 years, 70% of home ownership growth in the United States will come from the Latino community. While there is good reason to be optimistic, there are barriers that can slow future Latino home ownership growth. The financial impact of the pandemic has hurt Latinos disproportionately. Qualifying for mortgages has become more difficult, especially for self-employed borrowers, and an extreme shortage of housing supply are all problems that need to be solved in the next few years. Getting government policies that impact Latino home ownership correct not only affect the housing sector, they have broad implications for our overall economy as housing accounts for 16% of the nation's gross domestic product. And it's housing, more than any other sector, that is pulling the country out of the coronavirus-induced recession. The pandemic has taught us that the future is not guaranteed, but it's also illustrated that how the housing market fares, so goes the U.S. economy. And no demographics play a more central role in America's housing economy than Latino Americans.